Well, we're going back to 1994 for today's Saints Rewind and Southampton's incredible away win against Norwich City. But before we watch the highlights, Matt, Ken, what were your memories from that day? Awful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> like I said, because if you look at the defending as well, because we, I think we went 3-1 down and like it's one of those games you could not make it up, you know, and we're thinking, hold on. We make sure we we can't lose. We need to win the game, and then suddenly, maybe you think, with with ten minutes to go, we're we're facing a defeat here, and then suddenly, like I said, from nowhere, Metlitis scores the the equaliser, and then, like I said, and then we went overtime as well, you know. So, last kick of the game was mad, crazy game. If I as, as far as I recall, <laughs> awful the awful defending, and we have by the way, we have to thank Rob Oliphant that happened to play then later for us because he had a nightmare as well watching the game. Because <laughs> he, he scores a couple of penalties, own goal, <laughs> give the foul away. <laughs> I thought we were bad in the bench, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Matt, it was, it was quite a day for you as well. Um, Hat-trick, your 100th Premier League goal. Um, what are your memories from that day? Um, I don't think it was my 100th Premier League goal, was it? Was it not? I, I saw that. I think, I think it was that they mentioned that, I think. No, they my, did. My 100th did. Premier League goal was, was Newcastle. Was the goal, last goal at the Dell. Was it? Ah, in the yeah. commentary, it did say that. Uh, it might have been my 100th league goal. That's ah, it, league goal. Was okay. the league goal. Was the league uh, goal. Yeah, not Premier League. league so your yeah. 100th league goal, league goal oh, I think yeah. it was the third goal you scored. Yeah. That, what that, do you that, remember that, from that day? That sounds more like it. Um, I, I, I remember it was a, a, an unbelievable football match to be involved in. It really was. I mean, the, the roller coaster of emotions that, that you go through. Um, and I think at, at the time, and it stood for quite a long time, up until a, a few years ago, I think, that we were the only team uh, until a few years ago. One other team has done it now. I'm trying to think who it is. But we were the only team for a long time that had, that had been behind on three separate occasions in a football match and gone on to win the game. Correct. Uh, Correct. I think it's happened one more time since then, a few years back, and I can't, I can't remember yeah. who did it, but it was just an, an amazing game to be involved in. And um, it, it's fair to say defences weren't on top that day. <laughs> they weren't. <laughs> they weren't. <laughs> Unbelievable fight and determination from all of you, though. Um, so I see you all warming up there. Yeah, I think one of the, uh, one of the things that I didn't realise, uh, certainly when I look back at the, at the results, We've been on a really bad run uh, up mm. until this game. We've gone like seven games without a win. Uh, and in those seven games, I think we'd only scored two goals. Yeah, um, so true. Yeah, and it was just, you know, for, for that to turn around, to go seven games with scoring two goals, and all of a sudden we get five in 90 minutes, just, just goes to show <laughs> how ridiculous football can be sometimes. <laughs> and you just cannot predict what's going on. Madder will be disappointed here. This is a yeah. good chance. And he's normally he was quite good with the follies, wasn't he? Normally, man. Yeah, yeah, he would have been really disappointed with his uh, with his effort there. But yeah, I, I've, I'd forgotten that we'd actually played um, three at the back that day with with Franny at the back with you, Kenny Guy. Yeah, we've done it a few times as well. I think that season with against Arsenal yeah. as well. Yeah, That's and I think point. he was also obviously Ian Dowie the chance as well, wasn't he? Yeah, just couldn't it's quite Mr. convert there, could he? No. And that pitch that as well deserves a mention, doesn't it? <laughs> Darwin, Darwin probably would have moaned at anything, wouldn't he? And also had to go with us. <laughs> Bad delivery. Know. He comes up with a great position there. He just couldn't, yeah. couldn't stretch far enough to get to no. it. Very youthful looking Ian Dowie as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, how he longs for those locks again. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself, eh? <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a pretty familiar sight, I think, for, for I can't Saints fans. Fanny's found someone. <laughs> that never happened. No, can't, 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 be your dad. can't be your dad. Can't. No way. <laughs> somebody else. There's got to be some the, there. Oh, there's a surprise. There's a oh, yellow yeah, card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, takes it like a champ, at least. Here's a question for you, Ken. Which Southampton player has got the most yellow cards in Premier League history? In Premier League, he's the most. Does he, he can't be one of our defenders? No chance. I think I might know this one. Oh, I don't think it's a defender. The most yellow cards. It's got to be you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cheeky bit. And it will be for that. Kenzie, and it will be for that, definitely. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 47 of them are for descent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice bit of skill on the edge of the box there. Shame about the old left foot dragging it wide. Yeah. How was Chris Sutton to play against Ken? Yeah, and had, to be fair, you've got to give him credit, a handful. He was He's a handful, all, wasn't all, he? All, all, all to the band. And at that time as well, as they said in the, in the commentary, that uh, lots of clubs were out and they could see why, you know? Yeah. And I think he scored as well something like 20 odd goals that season, like just like yourself, you know? So he was up there. The yeah, he had a very, very good season. Yeah. Yeah, that was his flick on there. Was it? Was that Charlo that flicked that on? Or was it? No, it was Boundy. Boundy got the flick. It was Boundy, yeah. It was Boundy. Good finish by Robin. Because he came on as a sop as well, didn't he? Because he was on the yeah, bench, was... Robin. Yeah. Yeah, he was good. Good finisher, Robin. You know, he didn't yeah. contribute a great deal anywhere else, but give him a chance and uh, yeah. he was decent in front of goal. I think Bez will be disappointed, though. He got his hands to that and couldn't quite keep it out. Yeah, he did. And as you said, but the, the game itself was end to end. To be fair, wasn't it? Was one it of those was. crazy I mean, games. Yeah. You've already seen we've had uh, two really good chances that we've missed there already. Yeah. And how is that we oh, missed? That I will never that know. One. To this day, I can remember that chance. How can you miss that one? Can you? <laughs> you can see the pain in his face. But you should have seen the pain in the rest of our faces. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing, the funny thing, he didn't celebrate though, because you'd think he would run away, celebrate, but he wasn't, was he? No, he knew he'd miss it, that's why. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you were 1-0 down at this point, but Saints seem to have the best of the chances. Ooh, ooh, oh, what that. a tackle. Yeah. Oh, here so we that's go. A red card. That's a red card in today's football, isn't it? Oh, it would be easy. <laughs> easily. Yeah, I mean, we were 1-0 down there, but you've seen from them highlights, we could have easily been three up. Yeah. Great pass. Yeah. This is a great pass, by the way. Pass. Great pass. And a yeah. great save as well. And a good fit, yeah. Good save. Look at that, just as I was just as I was telling everyone how good he was, he goes and misses a sitter. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great, great pass though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a brilliant pass, yeah. Yeah, yeah. good goalkeeper, no? Ryan Gunn. Yeah. The only goalkeeper I scored two hat tricks against in my career. What was it? Really? Matt, huh? Wait, where's so the little holding hand from the opponents for that Saints opener there. Yeah. They're still claiming it to this day. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, how is Jim, Jimmy Gilden, by the way? Is anyone in touch with Jim? Yeah, Jim's got it. Funny enough, I spoke to him uh, just uh, two nights ago on a Zoom call, Ken. Okay. Pass he's in really good Where is he? Yeah, he's Where really is good he? form. He's, he's living back in Northern Ireland. Okay. And he's working for the FA over there. Okay. Yeah, no, pass him my regards. Yeah, when you speak to him next. Yeah, I will do, mate. Yeah. I will do. So, yeah, we had a call with, uh, it was me, him and Dodsey. Okay. On a Zoom call, so it was really, yeah. really nice. Quite, quite funny. Yeah. So we're now into the second half. It's amazing to think the game that ended 5-4 was, was one all at half-time. Yeah. yeah, this is where the real fun begins, isn't it? A bit of a goal feast. If you yeah, can talk us through some of good, these. Good, good goal, yeah. by the way. Good header. Yeah. Jeremy Goss was in, uh, was in good form around that time. He had a couple yeah. of good seasons at that. Mm, at that he did, didn't he? A fantastic so did you did you think you could be in trouble at this point? Ken's oh no, weak. no you, 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 you know you can as as in playing in defence because we were awful. As Matt said, we were awful every time when they came along and a cross came in. You thought, oh no, hopefully like so we get something against it. And of course, you see some of the balls went ricochet or somebody's back of the head or whatever and went in. You know, so it's one of those games you're thinking we hope we can keep it low. Yeah, this even that one best stop, stops the ball. I think, hold on, might go out. I'm about two, three metres away from, uh, from Chris. They scored, you know? So you're thinking, so it's, you not gonna it's not going to happen today. Did you still believe there was something in this match, Matt? 3-1 uh, down. I think at 3-1, uh, I thought we've got to get a goal back quick. Uh, mm. To give us, not, not just to get us back in the game, but just to give us a, a bit of belief and a bit of a boost of confidence. Yeah. Because at the time, you know, we were on that bad run anyway. We're two goals down in the game. We needed something to happen fairly yeah. quick. Um, and, and so that was the I think that was the important part of the comeback. Was, was getting the next goal in the game, which kind of lifted everybody. Uh, True. When you get back to 3-2, you then think, yeah, I'm, I'm in with a chance here. Yeah. Um, so this is a, a nice little flick on for me. And Madda does really well here. He gets it under Yeah, great goal, touch. He Done well there. Perfectly. And, you know, Gunny helps out a little bit with his chocolate yeah. mix in the old left hand. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, you know, because again, the goal like that, isn't it? Normally, he probably would have a proper hand and the goal won't, won't sit, you know? 
Yeah, I think he was a little bit unsighted because as I, as I take the ball onto my left foot, uh, I think there's about three of the Norwich defenders all kind of converged. They're all trying to all trying to go and then they all change direction to try and get to yes. the ball. I think it goes through the legs of yes. Mark Bowen. Uh, I think it might be. Uh, yes, you're right. Three of them and, 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 and New Medicine is in the way as well. Yeah, I think you're right there. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let Gunny off a little bit. I won't criticise him too much then. Yeah. <laughs> But as you said, Matt, but we came back to 2-3, you know, so we, we're still in with, with a chance or maybe at least get a draw, isn't it? Yeah, that was important. Uh, yeah. I think the, the, but if, you know, the, the next goal in the game at 3-1, oh, if it goes 4-1, you're looking at yeah. damage limitation. This is a brilliant run Jeff, from Jeff Kenner. Yeah, Jeff done great there. Brilliant. And he was great that season, Ken, wasn't he? Oh, no, he, Jeff is unbelievable, yeah. Unbelievable. I think a very, Matt, very yeah. underrated player. Very underrated player, yeah. Very good. You see that the penalty was Rob Ollerton again for them. <laughs> they had he had a knockback as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Out of 48 a... penalties, you obviously only ever missed one. Um, Ken, did you just always feel completely confident whenever Matt had to step forward? For his know, we, we did. We always used to moan at him, and but the moment, like I said, he would to accept get his penalty kicks, we knew. You know, nine out of ten times, he definitely hit the target and score a goal for us. So we were never in doubt in that sense. But not tell people. 10, 47 out of 48, then. <laughs> <laughs> I always used to be better than that. <laughs> but the thing is, that when I tell people, we had a team, like I said, like the cake, and Matt was sort of the icing on, on top of the cake, and that was so true. And that's, this game sort of really sort of puts in a nutshell what the Saints were all about, the belief that we had in the team, you know? Even when we were fighting against everything, we still managed to, to squeeze the result out. Great goal, again. Great goal, by the way. Really good header, really yeah. good header. He's stretching yeah. for it, controls it brilliantly. Yeah. I mean, I think that, was, that was pretty soon after we'd just gone three-three as well, wasn't it? I, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So you think you're you're in touching distance, and it's only two goals difference again. <laughs> it was, I can remember. I remember just thinking uh, as as soon as it's gotten in, I just remember thinking, "Oh my God, not again!" We just, <laughs> we just got back in this game, and then idiots at the back are just no, letting go every saying. time. <laughs> <laughs> It, but it was one of those games, though, wasn't it? it? It was. It was. It was just ridiculous how open the game was. I mean, this is yeah. this is the equaliser coming up here. This, again, yeah. Jeff Kenner rampaging yeah. down that right hand side. Lovely ball in. Oh, great ball! In. Great ball in. And again, it had to be a good ball to make me score from a header. Yeah. You know, that was a good header, though. In my head. Yeah. Matt, that header that came in just fifteen minutes as well. I didn't realise it was that quick, actually, and it was the only. Uh, the only perfect hat trick that I scored in my career, right foot, left foot, and a header. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So but a great I cross, that... though, because because you're the Matt is the only one in the box for us, and again, you don't have much space to aim as well, did you? Uh, I I didn't have a, a huge amount of space to aim at actually. No, it, no, and I've got to be honest, right? <laughs> to this day, I don't like admitting this, but when the ball came over. I wasn't the bravest when it came to heading. And if there was a defender near me when, when I had to challenge the <laughs> header, I was a bit I was a bit of a coward. Yeah. Right? And, and I can still remember to this day. <laughs> I could see the ball coming in. I could see the ball coming in from Jeff, and it's come over a couple of heads, and I thought I'm gonna have to try and head this. And I've literally jumped up, closed my eyes, <laughs> and I felt the ball hit my head. And the next time I opened my eyes, the ball was already in the back of the net, so I didn't I didn't even know how it got in the back of the net. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares, Matt? Who cares? Fantastic. Exactly right. Who cares? Fantastic. But, uh, <laughs> it was amazing. I think the. Um, oh, does it, was this where we get the corner? Yeah, this, this is the this is the corner. Yeah. This is. We, the we, I think then. I think it's what is ninety second minute something like ninety third. Yeah, we were definitely we we're definitely in overtime. And yeah. to be honest. I was just concentrating so much on just putting the ball in the right area. The, no, most, dangerous, the most dangerous area of the pitch to score a goal. No, you did quite, because you can, where you, I put it. you can see because you're taking your time, you were waiting, weren't you? Just to make sure that you just hit it in the area, didn't you? No, yeah. I, I knew I had to get this in the right area. If I get it in the right area with the right amount of pace on it, it gives yeah. our guys the chance. best chance to, to, to head it. And as soon as Kenny got his head on it, even yeah. though it's gone kind of in off the, uh, down off the ground, yeah. Yeah, he knew if he'd got his head on it from that distance, it was going to be really difficult to stop. Yeah, the, the the pace and the spin, like I said, was just there just to put your head against it and not force yeah. it. Just he didn't have to do yeah. anything. Yeah. No, no, no. 
so Ken, too. what does it feel like to score a last minute winner like that? No, listen, it was relief because like I said, we had we were having actually a nightmare at the back, you know, <laughs> conceding four goals four goals and everything that we touched at the back went in in our own goal. And of course then to score the goal was the the, the, the Voria was fantastic, you know? And you could see oh, my shoulders are like flipping out. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm just pleased we're finished. <laughs> but you came away the hero. Everyone forgot about yeah, everything no, it's, else it's, that it's, happened. Ken, it's only much later in a way, you realise in a way. When you actually played the game and you know you had a, quite a bit of a stink in, in, in the defence, you know? It's the last thing you think about. <laughs> and of yeah. course, and then when you look, look at the magnitude of the whole season, and as Matt said, because we were on a very bad run, you know? So we were, like I said, we lost the, 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 the previous six or seven games, didn't we, Matt? Yeah, we, we, haven't, yeah. we haven't won any of the last seven. I think we drew drew two and lost five of the previous uh, seven games. Um, yeah. But that that result kind of gave us the impetus to go and to go and get the the points that we needed to stay up after that. That was such a huge result. And I can remember doing an interview after that game, being stood outside the the tunnel at, at Carra Road, uh, and I just remember being asked a question, and I answered it by saying, um, "Hopefully, we'll look back at the end of the season." And we'll point to Kenny's goal as a goal that kept us up because it gave us two extra points. We stayed up by a point that season. We did. Um, we did. It was an unbelievable season, by the way. It was ridiculous, wasn't it? It was. It was. It was yeah. such a such a, a seesaw season where we just like we had good spells and we had really bad spells. Uh, but the, the good thing for us, we, we had a good spell just at the right time in those last five or six games of the season. Yeah. But, I, but I've got to give uh, Alan Ball the sort of credit there as well, because as a manager then, because just, we had, I had plenty of managers like yourself, Matt, at my time at the, at the Saints, but he was one of those managers that really, really sort of behind the team. He really got us going. Training-wise, I really enjoyed that. That season was one of the better seasons, I think, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. I think, uh, I think it was very enjoyable to go into training every day Yeah. Uh, when Ballie was in charge, because you knew if you, if you did it right... Mm. You knew you weren't going to be there for ages. You know, if, yeah. if you give him a good hour, hour and 20 minutes, uh, and he was happy with what he's seen, he'd go, thanks very much, lads. See you tomorrow. Go and play golf. And he had to really drag us off the, off the training ground, didn't he? Because we really enjoyed it in a way, didn't he? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. No, it was, uh, it, was a, it was a fun time, those 18 months when he was manager. Yeah. Well, it was certainly a particularly memorable game. Um, Ken, particularly for you, was that a highlight for your career, scoring a winner like that? Uh, th th it was in a way because when you look at it after as Matt said because of the, the, the points that we needed at, at the time not really it's only like I said near the end that actually saved us the, the, the points that we needed other moments like I said that I remember because the, 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 the Man United game that we played that was a ridiculous game as well Matt was that sorry to take the shine away of the Norwich game in a way <laughs> but playing that day was ridiculous against Man United it was one of those one. days again wasn't it yeah <laughs> I mean, you could that, not first, make, that first half was incredible. Yeah, you could not make it up. And then for them to blame the grey shirts, not that Saints played them off the park, you know? Yeah, exactly. Completely. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, but I had some great moments, Kenzie, to be honest. And of course, this is when you look back, this was one of those moments because that season was, was unbelievable. And like I said, uh, the, the points that, that we needed that season to stay up were crucial. I remember, was that the time that was his name? Uh, the old uh, Ipswich player. That was Alan Brazil. Was that the season that he said, oh, this is the season that the Saints are definitely going to relegate? And we all went, you know what? And this is even before we kicked a ball in the first, in the first game of that <laughs> season. And then we all went, you know what? We're going to show him that, that whatever he is, you know? <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> hey, what, what you forget, Kenzie, as well, is, uh, is that season, Ken was the last Saints player to score a goal that season as well. Wow. Yeah, he scored it for West Ham. Because, because we drew three all on the last day of the season and Ken put a header it past Dave Besson to make it three all. Oh yes, we did we did. <laughs> <laughs> it's wow. True. It's true. That's true. <laughs> it's true. One of February's all round then. <laughs> yeah, I told you I was scored important goals. <laughs> <laughs> oh well certainly a memorable day and, and great to hear both of your thoughts on such a huge win for the Saints and as you said such a, a massive part of, of keeping the club up that season oh no we, we had to, when my seven and a half years can see at the club were, were amazing you know and with all the characters that we had in them that's that in a way sort of illustrate why we stayed up season after season because of the, the, the strength of character and mentality that we had as a, as a team you know
yeah, everyone that sort of came to 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 join this the, the Saints knew about the spirit that we have. People talk about sort of very cliche the spirit and you know, not the Saints, but it's true. We did have that spirit, you know. Well, you certainly can see it from that performance. Um, thank you both so much for talking us through that amazing game and keep yourself safe and, and take care. No worries, Kenzie. Good to see you, you Ken. Look, you look yeah. also,